welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Bash script enthusiasts encounter. Our viewer is looking to optimize their backup process using rsync. The question is, how can we force rsync to compare local files byte by byte instead of relying on checksums? Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To address your question about using rsync for local backups, let's first understand the options you are currently using. You mentioned that using the dash checksum option slows down the process, especially for local backups. This is because rsync calculates checksums for each file, which can be resource intensive. Now you discovered the whole file option, which is indeed the default behavior when both source and destination are local. This means rsync will transfer files without calculating checksums. By changing your rsync command to exclude the dash checksum option like this, rsync ne abh path tus path to target, rsync will compare files based on size and modification time by default. However, if you want to ensure that rsync checks files byte by byte, you can use the dig nor times option. This will force rsync to transfer all files regardless of their timestamps or sizes. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, rsync can compare files on a byte-by-byte -byte basis, but it does so block-by-block. -block. You can set the block size to one byte using the option block size equals one, though this is inefficient. Force or sync to use block by block comparison locally, use the dash no whole file option. This is important because calculating checksums can slow down the process. By default, rsync uses file size and modification time to determine if a backup is needed. If you want to avoid this and ensure a thorough comparison, use mash ignore times and bash checksum. If you want to ensure every file is compared regardless of timestamps, combine NAS no whole file and NAS ignore times. This forces a delta transfer for all files. Remember, using NAS checksum can be wasteful as it reads the entire file. It's best for network transfers where only differences should be sent. In summary, for efficient backups, stick with the default method. Use dash ignore times and no whole file only when necessary and be cautious with the checksum. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. Unfortunately, rsync does not support byte-by-byte -byte comparison of files as you might expect. Instead, it uses a sender and receiver process to compare file metadata and determine which files need updating. Even for local files, rsync communicates through a pipe to decide on changes. Once it identifies the differences, 
it sends updates as deltas or whole files. While theoretically possible to send whole files for comparison, this method is inefficient. The receiver would need to hold files in memory, leading to potential delays. For more details on how rsync works, check out the official overview at the provided link. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.